This tip came about after reading a long conversation on the internet. I hope this will help clear up the confusion. Often when there's only one datum reference on perpendicularity or parallelism, you can end up with an unstable tolerance zone. In this case, I have just datum feature A referenced, which means to inspect the part, I would put it against a datum feature simulator, and the part could rock around. This makes it difficult to get reproducible results because the tolerance zone is not stable. I can solve this problem by adding a secondary datum feature. But here's where the confusion comes in. People look at B and say, wait a minute, B is parallel to the surface, it's not perpendicular. And the 1994 standard said, that's okay, B is just there to stabilize the zone. I'd place the part down on the surface plate, and then I would perform my inspection. And as you can see, the tolerance zone is stabilized, and I'll get reproducible results. Now, this entire situation can be avoided if we use the alternative practice found in the 2009 standard. Perpendicularity and parallelism are just special cases of angularity. So, in the revised standard, the 2009, we're told that we can use angularity even when we mean perpendicularity or parallelism. So now this should make the confusion go away. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next month.